My test. Okay, I'm here. All right, everyone. I am going to continue my Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2. And this time, I will remember to switch to the game scene so I don't accidentally do an audio-only stream. Let me see if it works. Okay, it appears to be working. I have the wrong audio device set up. Okay, let's get out of there. Switch to the correct one. And now let us restart Neverwinter Nights 2. Whoops! Oh, goodness. Let's skip these, uh, these intro movies. Alright, let's go. Load game. Alright, so what happened last time was I streamed an accidental audio-only stream. I had apparently been in my, in my startup uh, screen for the entire uh, to our stream. So the uh, seventh session of my Let's Play is lost except for audio only. And I'm verifying that yes, I do have the game uh, game scene set up. Cool. Uh, what was I doing again? Oh, I need to return to Captain Berlena. And there's Kelgar's quest. And uh, Actually, um, let's actually talk to, oh, Kel I don't have Kelgar with me, whoops. That reminds me, uh, before I go to Captain Berlena, I want to, uh, I want to do Kelgar's side quest first, so let me actually yes. dump Casavir for a while. I'm uh, carrying too much to move. Okay, let me give this stuff to Eleni for now. And I suppose I'm gonna grab all the stuff from him and transfer these to Kelgar. I'm not really a fan of a. Uh, too much uh, stuff. What do you call that? Passivere, anyway. He's kind of lawful stupid by uh, by the uh, by the things he says. All right, so let me actually set up my chat so I don't miss anything y'all say, assuming anyone's actually watching. All right, so let's yes. switch back. Let's yeet Casavir out of the party and grab Kelgar Iron Fist. All right, and I just want to verify again that yes, I do have the game uh, in my active screen. Cool. So uh, let's yes. equip the shit to Kelgar. Yes. Let me actually give this to him. There we go. Yes. And then Nishka, I need you to give these the stuff to Kelgar. Yes. Okay, full plate, bracers of armor, this long sword, umber hulk shield. Yes. Hmm, what else do I have? The swordsman's belt, I guess, yeah, I can yes. give that to him. Or no, I can give it to Elami. Yes. So she has something after her stone skin expires. Yes. How can I help? Uh, boots of the winter Yeah, let's yeah. give it to Kelgar. Yes. Hmm, what else do we have? Oh, the rings, yes. Moonstone mask. Uh, this one is plus five, listen, search, and spot. Yes. Which we don't really need because uh, we have a better one for Nishka. Okay, I think that's Everyone it. Follow me. Uh, yes. Is there a better weapon for him? Rest Redemption is a slashing. Great, uh, it's a great axe. This one's a war mace. Yes. This bone phoenix. Hmm. You know, I could give the. Uh, yeah, this yes. should be fine. Long sword plus two. Everybody, follow me. Yes. You have an amulet of vitality. Uh, I guess I'm gonna stick to this. 
Let me actually put back my uh, my hat of diplomacy. And let's uh, do Kelgar's side quest now. Because it's going to give us uh, some nice loot that will come in handy. Also some good XP. So anyway, uh, while this is loading, I want to talk about uh, Anime St. Louis. I went to Anime St. Louis 2021 today. Uh, it was cancelled for 2020 because of the pandemic. And they didn't want to do it in 2021, but they have some contractual obligations to the family arena. Uh, not the family arena, the St. Charles Convention Center. Which meant that uh, if they didn't hold the convention this year, they would be liable for it financially. And they wouldn't be able to fundraise or afford to... Uh, otherwise, pay, buy out their contracts. So, um, anyway. You're a strange band to be wandering these mountains. Kalmar? I could say the okay, same. Two are what are you doing here? Here? Not as far as you'd think, Kelgar. I here for the same reasons. Mm. Uh, Kelgar, who is this? This here's Kalmar, one of the best scouts of the Iron Fist clan and good in a fight. Neither one, of course, explains what he's doing here, though. It's clan business, not for outsiders. Ah, but Kalmar, these are friends. Well, most of them, anyways. Whose blood is that on your armor? Orc? We are scouting out the old Iron Fist clan hold in these mountains, seeing if it can be reopened or retaken. There are bugbears blocking the way, but they will not do so for long. Bugbears? Then what are we waiting for? Let's bury them! It's nothing we can't handle, Kelgar. No need to shed the blood of non-clan. And this is an Iron Fist matter. Nonsense. These all are spoiling for a fight. What say you all? You all want to give the vultures some bugbear corpses to feast on? You know, old dwarven halls tend to have lots of gold and gems. Just lying around for the taking. Maybe so. But nothing your thieving hands will see, fiendling. The less time we spend in these mountains, the better. I don't welcome the thought of going deeper inside them, but if we must. So, what say you? We'll help you out. We are grateful for the gesture, but such false courtesies are wasted on us. Kelgar, stay with your new band. We neither asked for your help nor require it. This is Iron Fist clan business. Huh? I'm Iron Fist Clan. Your fight is my fight. Those were not the words you used when you left so long ago to pursue this mad idea of yours. You seek to learn how to fight, but you have cast aside the why of it. Clan honor, duty, these are things you have forgotten the value of. If you wish to help, then know that the door is sealed to the clan hold. And if you can recount the legend of King Lodrum, then you will know how to open it. I think that part of our history is fresh enough in your mind. Whether you return or not, it does not matter to me, and it does not matter to the clan. We are with you, and we want to help. All right, then. Let's get to the clan hall door. And hopefully there's something beyond it that needs to be taught a lesson in battle. If you truly want to help us, then come back to us when you have done something of note. Not words, Kelgar. Until then, we have little more to say. All right. I am listening. Let's just start ca casting our spells. One, two, three, four. We may not queue any more actions. I guess I, I queued too many. St. Louis today and bought some swag. 
and I also got to ask a lot of cosplayers what they were wearing. I managed to tell several uh, Star Wars cosplayers, live long and use the Force, Harry, while doing the Vulcan salute. It was pretty fun. I'm gonna check again. Okay, so I still have the game in my active uh, active screen, so that's good. Thirty AC, twenty five, thirty two. Wow. Yes. Yes. Also, it seems to have borrowed the uh, layout of the. Um, I. <clears throat> Listen, joking. With the uh, Eye Gouger clan? I can't remember which one. Is it Eye Gouger or. Hold on, let me see. Bone Nasher. I think one of those two. They basically recycled the area. You know, I'm actually gonna give a bone yes. phoenix to uh, to Kelgar and the acid yes. longsword to Eleni, just so I, we have more than one form of elemental damage. There we go. Lead the way. Fall in behind me. All right. Let's move on. Oh, dwarf scout. This dead dwarf has an expression of great pain frozen to his face. Oh no, he dead. One of my brothers struck down by bugbears. If Kalmar is right, we Iron Fists can't afford to lose any more of our clan. If I had been leading this expedition, we wouldn't have been caught by surprise by the bugbears. I can promise you that. You're here now. You can complete their mission and help your clan. There is that. I'll not let my people down. Pah, he died in battle. I dishonor his memory with all this hand wringing. All right, we're gonna kill them all. Look, another dwarf. The bait we said has drawn more, as we hoped. You'll all pay for his death. For Iron Fist! Hells, hells, hells. Was that alright? Speak attack. <laughs> Dead. Got him. Oh, well, Kelgar just made a beeline for the archer. I guess I'm gonna control Dale. Let's make him attack. Got him. And now Kelgar is on the auto loot. Six GP. Oh well. Kind of sad, but. Better than nothing. Anything here? Yep, there are bugbears there. The land is against you. <laughs> Who's for a fight? Come on. Oh. Time for a little fun. 
this goal. All right, let's keep going. We're about halfway to level 10. And yeah, I don't think we're going to be leveling up in this dungeon. I'm not sure about that. Oh, more enemies. Yeah, we'll just kill them all. Seek attack. Time for a little uh, yeah. There. Micro, there we go. Doing a lot of damage. Mandolin, what does that do? Yes. It's a Kenneth Mandolin. Summon creature. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. And I can use it because I have used magic device. Nice. Oh look. You're going to be a tasty treat, short one. I haven't had dwarf meat in weeks. We should roast him, blacking his skin until he crunches in our teeth. Let me out of this cage and I'll break those teeth of yours. Kayar Iron Fist. Aha! I'll enjoy listening to your screams when we put you over the fire. Especially when your insides start to cook. Maybe we should boil him instead. His meat might be a little tough. No, we'd have to keep the pot covered. Can't hear the screaming as good as, as good that way. Looks like you'll be dying on an empty stomach, you stupid beasts. I'd run if I were you. Ah, more meat. I prefer it when the food comes to us. Is I'm just gonna attack? Ooh, dazed. Nice work. I <laughs> wish I'd been able to get out of this cage before you killed them. Hate to miss a good fight. Are you alright? Nothing serious, just a few bruises. Are the rest of my clansmen safe? Yes, we left them down in the canyon. Ah, my thanks for the rescue. Didn't want to beat my eye in the belly of those creatures. Can you make it out of here on your own? Don't worry about me. Only reason I'm here is I let myself get captured. Gave my brothers time to make their escape. Uh, uh, let me open the lock and you're free to go. Thanks again, uh, from me and all my clan. If you need a home, you'll always have one with the Iron Fists. I am honored. Farewell. Quite an honor he gave you, but that's Iron Fist hospitality and gratitude for you. It's almost legendary. Good to see one of the Iron Fists again. I've been away from home for a while. Uh, let's move on. We have a lot of ground to cover. Alright, there's more bugbears waiting to answer for what they've done up ahead. So the first option would make me lose influence at Kelgar because he doesn't understand it. He actually left his clan to pursue his dream of becoming a monk. So I didn't directly confront him with that. Oh, look. They have archers on top. That's perfect for my... Uh... Oh, I have to equip it to use it? That's awkward. There. There. Attack. <laughs> I guess I have to... Yeah, that's fine. I guess I can just hang on to this. I'm not going to be attacking anyway. Give me a moment, and this will all be over. Oh, the summoned creature died. Well, look who showed up. Ha! 
Sneak attack. There. I shall lead the way. Fall in behind me. Let's loot the stuff here. A gem and some gold. Okay. Let me see if there's uh, some loot around this corner. Oh, here's a loot bag that Kelgar missed. It's, oh, mild poison bolt, interesting. Ah, there's nothing here. Okay, let's keep going. I think I can uh, re-equip my spear now. Because uh, I only really had that one casting of Summon Monster 3. Unlike in Neverwinter Night Swan, you didn't have to equip uh, musical instruments. In this game, you do. You have to have them equipped first before you can use them. I am listening. Okay, go attack. Hells, hells, hells. Was that all right? Sneak attack. Sneak attack. There. Sneak attack. Oh, they did change targets. Nice. And another sneak attack. Got it. Is there loot? No, there's not. Let's keep going. Send out another search party. Make sure you find every one of those dwarves. Maybe we'll find orcs too. We're getting tired of having to avoid them, Groom. We have already told you, leave the orcs be. Let them and the humans kill each other. Go find the sneaking dwarves. I must let my brothers know they are here. Ah, it seems we're not as well hidden as we thought. Destroy these intruders and find the rest. Alright, we're gonna start fighting. Sneak attack. There. You should deal so much damage to creatures that aren't immune to sneak attack. It's wonderful. What is this? It's a part chest. This is a strange part. This odd mechanical device appears to be a component of a larger machine. Yeah, this is part of the quest here to open the last door. Oh, hey, enemies. All of you, come here. There. Go Let in. Go in. Hell's hell. Sneak attack. There. Let's attack the ones that are not attacking us. Oh, Give me a it's attacking moment, me. And this will all be over. Got it. Give me a moment. Ooh, crit sneak attack. And an ore vein. Nice. I'll take oh, that one has a, a fancy sword. It reminds me of the sword that one cosplayer I met at Anime St. Louis had. He was cosplaying a character from Demon Slayer, the one with the boar head mask. Right, I think that's it. Let's keep going. Grishk. Oh, ow. Sick attack. Got him. Armor. What is that? What kind of armor is that? Yes. 
Uh, it's a studded leather armor plus two. Okay. How can I help? I think this part here is trapped. That's search mode. Yep. Let's try to recover the trap so we have something to sell uh, back when uh, when we get back to town. Got it. Would have needed an eleven to succeed. What kind of boots are they? Greater boots of tumbling. Okay. That's nice, but only Mishka can use those boots. Yes. Oh, interesting. I, I got switched back to uh, my main character. I think there was a script there that triggered, but it broke, I suppose. This should be interesting. Let's just sit this one out and see what happens. Uh, hide. Find a place to hide. We already agreed, Pastak. We split the gold evenly. I told the most. I should get most of the gold. We only killed two of the dwarves, Postak. And you killed one. So I share most of the gold with Morgum. Then if I kill you, I'll take your share. Do it. We don't need Postak. <laughs> now, Postak's share is mine. And they kill each other. We split the gold evenly. All right. Attack. Well, look who showed up. Whoa! What is that status effect? Taunt. And they're dead. Let's grab the gold. 873 gold, that's actually quite a lot. Bugbear tusk for processing. Oh, Kelgar got another bugbear tusk. We can give that to uh, Eleni for processing. Okay, let's go here. I guess this is another path. Hmm. I wonder if any are gonna spawn if I move here. Nope, nothing. It was an alternate route, I suppose. Or maybe they uh, detected the battle and they came through here and came here to assist their allies. I need someone to shield me. All right, so this is going. Oh, enemies here. Sneak attack. Okay, nice. Elgar grab 8 GP. Cool. Let's keep moving. I think this is near the last area. What is this? Doesn't look like anything dwarves would have created. Too complicated. If it's a lock, it's the most complicated lock I've ever seen. Just a guess, but I think it opens the door. Doesn't look like it works, though. Maybe this part I found belongs to it. Could be. Here, let me see if I can figure out where it goes. If this does open that door, it better be protecting something valuable. We are not here to loot my clan hold, demon. Uh, let's just get this thing working, all right? This is the compromise. I don't lose influence with Nishka or Kelgar. Right. We'll worry about the treasure after we get the door open. There. I think I figured out where that part went. Okay, stand back while I start it. All right. Should be a fight here, or is there? Ah, there's another boss fight here. So you killed my brothers. Good. Now I don't have to share with them. Kill them. We'll find the other dwarves after we're through here. I guess I'm just gonna firebrand y'all. Let's also attack, so 
Can we daze him? Nope. Wasn't necessary. He just died. Ooh, halberd plus two and a ring. What is that yes. ring? Looks like a ring of protection yes. plus two, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I was correct. I am listening. Ring of protection plus two. I guess we can give it to Mishka. Yep, me. let's give it to Mishka. There. 27 AC. The way. Fall in behind me. And here's some treasure. And here, I think it's the Gauntlets of Iron Fist. Is there anything here? Like an ore vein? No, there is not. There's nothing here. Let's keep going and click on the chest. Is there a description? There's nothing special about this object. Gauntlet. These ancient gauntlets were worn by the dwarven kings of Clan Iron Fist. Though clearly enchanted, these relics are believed to increase in potency when paired with the belt of Iron Fist. Together, the two artifacts enable the wearer to wield the mighty hammer of Iron Fist. Okay, loop. I don't believe it. I, our clan thought they had been lost uh, forever. What are they? My clan history may not be what it should, but I know what these are. The gauntlets of Iron Fist held by the first of our kings. Torim Iron Fist, our last great king, was said to have warned them when our homeland fell to the orcs. But that would mean this clan hold is... This must be our first clan hold, the halls where Torim made his final stand. If I had only known this place was here, that these were here. So they're relics of your clan and heirloom. Oh, it's much more than that. We Iron Fists wouldn't wear something like these if they didn't have a practical use, too. Anyone who wears them gains the strength of 10, maybe 20. It's how the clan earned the name Iron Fist. With these, you could probably punch through a stone wall. Sounds useful. And that's just the beginning. It's said that if the wearer also wielded the hammer of Iron Fist, he could fell dragons with one blow. That's certainly powerful. It must be destiny that I've found them. It must mean that the Iron Fist clan shall reclaim our home. That would be a great day. And to think, I would never have come here, met my brothers, if you had not brought me here to these mountains. Here, you should take the gauntlets, Dale. You've performed a great service for me and my clan. You keep it. It belongs to an iron fist. Influence plus four. I, I thank you. I'm far from a king, but it means a lot to me that you feel I'm worthy enough to wear them. We'd best be moving on. It looks like the rest of this place has collapsed. We should report back to Kolmar and his scouts, tell them what we found. Ah... Uh, yeah, Colmar will want to know what we found. Let's go back to him. There's no more loot here. I already checked. So let's just tell, get teleported back outside. And let's actually equip these. Oh, right. If I equip these, he has to take off the uh, the Iron Fist. I mean, the yes. Bracer. So I can just cast Mage Armor on him instead. Follow me. There. And I can just cast Mage Armor on him, not that I need to because we're going back to Neverwinter and we're going to have our spell slots restored. Yes. But now his AC will be 31. Yes, uh, 22 strength. Okay. Let's talk to Kulmar. What is this? Stern and severe, this dwarf has sun-bleached hair and sunburnt skin from his long journeys into the mountains. A member of Kelgar's clan, the Iron Fists, Kolmar is the leader of an expedition in search of their lost clan hold. Do you have any description? This grizzled scout foregoes cumbersome armor as his explorations take him on long distance forays into the mountainside areas around Old Alloel. You have the. Yep, grizzled scout. Okay. If you have not entered the clan hold, then you have no business with us. We've explored the, the stronghold, but it's collapsed. There's no way through. <sighs> the rock in this region has always proven difficult to carve, and it's not one for keeping its shape without a good hammer disciplining it. We'll have to find another way then. There's other entrances we might be able to uncover. But we found something else. Look at this, Kalmar. What do you see? It's a pair of gauntlets, Kelgar. Well crafted, to be sure. And they have the mark of by Clan Geddin's hammer. Are my eyes blinded? Are those the gauntlets of Iron Fist? The same. Who knows what other treasures are buried deep in the clan hold, Kalmar? But if we found these after a quick search, well, who knows, even the rest of it might be down there. You found a relic, Kelgar. Part of our history. I didn't do it. You have my friend here to thank. And we never would have known this place to be here if you hadn't been here before us, Kalmar. And the gauntlets, well... 
They should rest with the clan, I think. No, Kelgar. If you two found them, then they were meant to be held by you both, for a time. When your journey is done, perhaps you shall return them to us. Are you good to keep traveling these mountains? If you like, I could- Our wounds have healed, and you've already given us enough aid. Perhaps we were too quick to judge your allies, Kelgar. The Iron Fist clan is in your debt. This I swear to you in stone and steel. Such a debt shall not be forgotten in the days to come. And Kelgar, if your path lies with this one, so be it. But the clan shall await your return. It shall not be long, I think, Kalmar. But someone needs to watch out for this little one, or else he'll be lying in a grave. Little compared to you. Very well, Kelgar. May stone shield you from the sky and ale be always at your hand. But not too much ale. You know how <laughs> but to not too much the ale. 12th tankard. Well, that was a chance encounter. And a chance to do some good, I think. The Iron Fists have had rough times these past few years. So, are we ready to crack some more skulls? Let's go. Heck yeah. So, we're like 25% of the way left to level 11. Let's head back to... I guess, uh, hold on. Oh, I have to click again? There. Ah, uh, let's go back to the merchant this merchant quarter. And I guess let's offload some of our equipment at Deacon's shop. Let's uh, cast heroism. <laughs> There's Deacon's shop, and I guess let's put on the headband for even more appraise. Are you a merchant? Okay, here's what you have for sale. Outrider's Flight, Converter Kukri, Hand X plus 2. Or the staff plus two. Let's sell this. Yeah, I guess I sell the mild poison bolt. It's like 1d2 constitution damage for a DC 14. That's kind of pathetic. But it's good for selling. Okay, now let us transfer their items to Dale. Oh, that's 10,000. We might have to hold on to that until we can sell it to someone who can give us more for it. Uh, I can't bear this much the traps. Yeah. Elgar, ooh, nice. Braces of armor plus three. That's a plus two. I guess I can bring that to plus three. Ellie, do you have these? Actually, no, you don't. I can actually give this to you. Nice. You don't really need the concentration gloves because you're not really spellcasting in combat. Follow me. Not that much anyway. Watchman's club. Yes. Okay, now let's uh, sort and sell. Oh, the store does not have enough gold. Whoops. I guess uh, let's we can sell it to some some place else. Let's uh, give that I'm to Ellen. Too much to oh. Yes. Yes, too much. Yes. Give to yes. Kelgar. I guess move this to Kelgar. There we go. Yes. Now we can uh, talk to what's her what's her name, Captain Belena. Actually, I just remembered something. I need to talk to Kelgar. Talk no jutsu to him to uh, fulfilling his uh, side quests. Uh, I need to talk to you about becoming a monk. Ah, what about it? Uh, Kelgar, to learn how to fight, sometimes you have to learn how not to fight. Uh, what? 
You like switching words around? That makes no sense at all. What I'm saying is there's more to fighting than fighting. It makes no sense. It's wordplay. Riddles. If there's anything I've shown you, it's when you control when and how a fight begins, you've won already. Well, it just seems like dodging a fight is, well, cowardly. Goblin-like. Kalgar, those monks you first met in the tavern defeated you easily. Surely there's truth in that. Whatever you say. Ah, I don't failure. hold to that belief. I don't. Other questions All right, for you. Go on and ask them. Ah. Uh, I wanted to ask you about some of our companions. Yes, like who? You seem more well disposed to Nishka than before, even Elmi to an extent. Well, that frail lass is one of the copper elves. Wood elves. They're a stone's throw more tolerable than some of the other kin, but she's still an elf. Their kind stood with the shield dwarves in the north, so I'll stand by her if need be. She needs to comb her hair, though, and put a little meat on that slim belly of hers. You'd think she was trying to be a tavern dancer with a belly like that. Huh, makes my stomach churn. It may be crazy, but it may qualify as meeting the trial of the even-handed the tear monks put before you. Huh? Not a bad idea. Never mind, I had other questions for you. All right, go on and ask them. Ah, uh, tell me a little about yourself. Well, there's a great deal to tell, especially if we're going with clan history and our accomplishments. But chances are, and I don't blame you, you're just asking about me personally. So let me give you the short version. I've been traveling the Sword Coast for a year or two, making my trade at villages and towns, and, well, making my trade at taverns as well, but you already had a taste of that at the Weeping Willow. Why were those men trying to attack you outside the Weeping Willow? They were in the mood to threaten, but not fully in the mood to start a fight. I think they were expecting me to drop the coin and leave quickly, which just goes to show you they don't know me too well. It's a shame they didn't keep it a friendly fight. Some people have no stomach for using their fists when they have a weapon at hand. Why are you so eager to fight? Eager to fight? Well, I suppose I am, if you can call it that. I mean, it's all in good fun. Some take pride in craftsmanship, or in hunting, or in haggling for the best price on a blade or other piece of steel. Me? Talking with my fists is my art form. Every tavern's an opportunity, I say. There's usually someone who could take a few punches to the gut and crime before they start weeping like a child. But why do you do that? Well, I don't know. I enjoy it, I guess. It's a mark of pride to be able to stand tall and take every punch, then give it right back until I'm the only one standing. Is that usually how it turns out? Most of the time. Only beaten really bad once. But I learned from it, and I'm determined not to let it happen again. Thing is... I'm glad it happened. It was my destiny. What happened? Well, you see, I used to win. Almost undefeated. But there was this time in a tavern far from here that I chose a fight that ended up choosing me. It was fate, I tell you. You found fate in a tavern brawl? Well, it wasn't much of a fight. You see, there were these skinny-robed humans, barely twigs, that were sitting at the bar when one of our competitions broke out. There were chairs getting smashed, people screaming, tankards being used as clubs. Ah, glorious. I don't understand the problem. Well, everyone was having a good time when I noticed those skinny humans were just sitting there, not even having the decency to pay attention. Just nursing waters. Waters! So I asked them, well... Shouted, really. What in the hell they thought they were doing? Ignoring the fine entertainment and then insulting the establishment by not having ale? Uh, you shouted at them? And maybe I shoved one of them a bit. Or tried to break a chair over their skulls since they were making a point of pretending they didn't hear me. <laughs> Rude, I tell you. Then what? Ah, oh, well, they used me as a bar rag first. And not a single punch I threw even hit them. Oh, they were moving too fast. And plus, I, I think I was seeing double or triple. Ugh, after they smashed my face into the bar a few times, uh, they showed me the floor up close. The floor was pretty dirty by that point, by the way. Then, at the final blow, they sent me flying like a drunk hippogriff out the window. 
magical it was. So, after I woke up and wiped the blood out of my eyes, and finally found all my teeth, I went back in and thanked them. Best beating I've ever received. They seemed a little taken aback by my friendliness. And it turns out they were part of some order. Sun something or other in the Sun Soul Box. They devoted their lives to fighting with their fists. Can you imagine? Lifetime devotion to brawling. It's their lives, their craft. So they were monks. They're monks, eh? Crazy water drinking fools. <laughs> Hope drinking water isn't what makes them fight like that. Anyway, that life sounded like destiny to me. I mean, those skinny excuses for humans were good. And then they spent their whole lives kicking the hell out of others, training for it. That's when I knew that's what I wanted to do with my life. My purpose was clear. Uh, that's not all monks do, you know. Huh? Of course it is. Well, as far as I could tell once my head stopped ringing. It's more of a state of mind and body. You mean like headbutting someone? I already know how to do that, though sometimes I need to grab them by the beard or collar and yank their head down so I could hit it properly. It's not about violence, Kelgar. Oh, is that so? Well, I must have missed that part while they were wiping down the tavern with my face and throwing me through a window. <laughs> Shows how much you know about it. You didn't see them in action. Okay, uh, never mind. I have other right, questions for you. Go on and ask them. Ah. Uh... I need to know a little more about you if you're going to travel. Well, again. there's a great deal to tell, especially if we're going with clan history and our accomplishments. But chances are, and I don't. And well, oh, okay. making my trip. That's All the right, wrong one. Go on and ask them. Ah. Uh... Who are you? Kelgar Iron Fist, of course. It's a wonder you haven't heard of me, considering how I've made my mark up and down the Sword Coast for almost a year. Never All mind. All right, go on and ask uh, them. Let's keep moving. Let me see. Uh, trial the even-handed. Oh, I didn't need to talk to him. I just need to, uh, I guess... Let's have to go to the Temple of Tear and turn in these quests. I think... Uh... I think we might get XP for it. And the last one, the trial the trial of justice, I can't really complete that until I finish the trial. So that's I guess the earliest Kelgar can become a monk. Alright, let's start to Hlam. Kelgar has met one of the trials you put before him. Indeed, then let him speak and we shall see for ourselves. I think he's faced the trial of the maimed. It's true, met some of my clan in Old Owlwell. Made me realize what... Oh, 258 XP. Made me realize what turning away from my blood has done. But I was able to put things to right, help them out, and I think I was able to heal the wound. I hear it in your voice. You have faced the trial of the maimed. Well done. It is not an easy thing for most to see. Your ashes do not meet the trials, Kelgar of the clan Iron Fist, but perhaps you will soon enough. Kelgar has met another of your one of your trials. Indeed, then let him speak, blah blah blah. He's learned to judge others on their actions. Well, there was a time when I was quick to judge others based on what little I'd heard. But traveling with even the worst, slimiest, smelliest of tieflings and no honor tree-worshipping elves has taught me some of them are all right. So who knows, maybe they're all worth a closer look, instead of lumping them all together and passing judgment on the whole bunch of those good-for-nothings. Very well, seeing the world with such eyes meets the trial of the even-handed. We are pleased. Okay, your actions will be the trials, right? Never mind, I'll be going now. So, the trial of justice. I think I got, yeah, I got 250 XP, which is nice. One step closer towards level 11. Now, I believe, um... Berlena will send me to the docks to fight uh, one of the ships, the Sea Ghost, I think. And then uh, she's going to send me to this area. I'm not sure. I can't remember. <sighs> I can't remember the sequence of events. Okay, I basically ran out of side quests to do. Okay, let's go inside the City Watch headquarters and talk to Berlena. Welcome back, Lieutenant. Do you have anything to report? 
I found the emissary at Old Owl Well, and he is safely in Neverwinter. You have done well, Lieutenant. I knew my faith was not misplaced. You are to be commended for your efforts on Neverwinter's behalf. Your efforts at the docks have greatly improved the position of the Watch. But it has also drawn new predators. Predators from Luskin. Uh, we ran across some Luskins in the docks already. Luskin is one of our less benevolent neighbors. We have had troubles with them in the past. That's an understatement. A war, actually. No need to hedge words when it comes to their kind. Now those Luskin cowards are attempting to take advantage of your success at the docks to put spies in our midst. We have caught word that one of their agents is attempting to enter port on board a merchant vessel from Luskin, a vessel called the Sea Ghost. We need you to go to the docks, board the Sea Ghost, and stop the Luskins. Return here when you have accomplished your mission. All right, we're going to kill some people to death. And what news do you bring from Old Owl, well, Lorne? Do Grey Cloak and bodies now lie in the hands of the Shadow Priests? No, my lord. There were difficulties. An adventurer... You have failed me, yet dare to return? I asked you to keep the priests safe. Without them, there will be no ritual! All I asked of you was to put pressure on the Neverwinter forces. Cut off their trade routes through the mountains. Yet all you have given Neverwinter is hope, and a victory at Old Owlwell, which will allow them to concentrate on other fronts. Fortlock and Highcliff still remain ours, Lord Garius. Neverwinter's attention will be focused there, not upon us. Fort Lock and Highcliff, yes. Obviously, you have not heard, but our position there has become weaker, not stronger. And now you have come to tell me Old Owlwell has fallen, and the priests there are dead. Perhaps I shall allow you to be the one to tell the King of Shadows the news. Is that your wish, Lorne? My Lord Garius, forgive me. It shall not happen again. I swear upon my life. In that lawn, you are correct. A common adventurer outmaneuvered you, Lorne. <laughs> you really are losing your touch. Bite your tongue, Torio, or I'll rip it from your throat. He won't stop me a second time. Oh, of course he won't, Lorne. With your luck, chances are next time, he'll just kill you. Ominous foreshadowing. Alright, so let's get out of here, return to the docks, then I guess start our buffs. Docks District to travel. All right, let's start our buffing ritual. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Uh, I guess uh, one, two. One, two. I am listening. Now for Eleni. Stone skin and everyone except Kelgar. We have to switch here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. All right, that's it. What is this? Scabbard of Blessing? Oh, Bless and Aid. Let's see our history feast. Blessed Joaquin. This was the uh, the pre-order uh, bonus feat, which was applied to everyone, uh, I guess, in the current version of Neverwinter Nights. Before, you could only get this if you pre-ordered the, the special edition of the game. So basically, you get plus one to all saving throws. And uh, yeah, this is another pre-order. I think this is from another one. Uh, 
a certain first a certain pre-order and this is from another one city watchman kalakcha it appears you are the kalakcha and the that the otherworldly narrators seek. It's still unclear as to what a Kalacha is or how you became one. It's a shard bearer. Orc Slayer. Countless orcs have died by your hands. Stories of your battles have spread quickly, and the broken remains of the orc tribes vying for old Alwell curse the day you were born. And that's it. We're done. Let's go. Oh wow, I just skipped forward. Interesting. I don't know if that was lag or something else. Okay, the docks should be this way. I think it's just a simple matter of killing everyone uh, who tries to land here. Then, uh, you know what, let me see if... Uh, I'm gonna summon ambassadors. We have plus three to diplomacy. Maybe that will help. I doubt it, but you know, it may come in useful. Let's actually uh, have our companions. Where's everyone? There's Eleni. There's Kelgar. Where's Nishka? Oh, she's stuck. I need you to cover my flank. Yeah, she's stuck. I'm just gonna wait for her to arrive here. Oh look, here's a uh, Luskan minion. Examine. This powerful warrior wears the arms of one of the city of Luskan. Wears the arms of one of the city of Luskan on his black surcoat. He seems to have plans involving considerable violence to your person. Where's Nishka? There she is. I see her. All right, let's go. Oh shoot. Uh, I accidentally hit uh, the dialogue. Is this ship the Sea Ghost? Okay, so you there, get away from the ship now. Is this ship the Sea Ghost? What of it? We haven't given you permission to approach. Off the docks with you. Uh, the City Watch controls this district. You will set sail and leave the city. Uh, and this ship is from Luskan. Yeah, we're from Luskan. If you think the troubles with Ruathim are going to keep our trade ships away, you're wrong. We Luskans travel where we want, when we want. And if we want to land here in this filth hole of a city, then we will. Um, what are you doing here, Neverwinter? That's our business. It's an open city, so if you don't like it, to the hell's with you. Um, I get the feeling you're not here for the sightseeing. Saw enough of this city the last time I was here burning it to the ground. Seen enough of you as well, now that you mention it. What was at the ready, lads? We're about to kill ourselves more Neverwinter dogs. Okay, we're just gonna let our companions kill everyone. Uh, I guess extended haste? Yep. There, kill them all. Show them your steel! Attack! Who's she attacking? What the heck? If you believe slaughtering these men will somehow protect your precious city, then you are sadly mistaken. Aja the Azure. Where is he? There he is. Stunning blue eyes are this Aluskan man's single attractive feature and an otherwise unwelcoming face. This sinister grin reveals the gaps of several teeth lost in battle. Okay, let's let's fucking kill him. Oh, he took a lot of damage. And he's gonna he's going down. Oh, I missed. Let's try again. Did this AI bug out? Can he not see me? One more. Or does he have something? Oh, he has something to say. Hmm. And so it seems my prey was waiting for me. I yield, Harborman. I was your prey? Indeed, my master has grown impatient with the frequency with which you cross our path. Then Luskan should stay out of Neverwinter. Luskan? Ah, you think my master and Luskan are one and the same. No, it is a sleight of hand, you see, where the left does not see what the right is doing. And the four host towers do not see yet what the master of the fifth plots. Master of the fifth tower? 
Yes, Black Garius, my master. But he does not serve Luskan, not at all. His ambitions lie higher than nations, I think. When Luskan finds out what he plots, I do not think they shall be pleased, but by then I think it shall be too late. As for you, you have crossed him more than once, and I was sent to remind you that he would serve us better in death. I guess you're fighting to the death. Uh, I guess I'm going to kill you to death. And he's dead. Rip. Does he have any loot? He does. Or the plus two, a gold necklace, and a crafting book. A ring of wizardry and a headband of intellect plus four. Okay. Uh, let's give this to Kelgar, to Hall. And yeah, that's it. I think uh, Captain Berlina has one more quest for us. She's going to send us to kill the Githyanki, at which point we will be allowed to talk to Aldenon. But uh, the conversation with Aldenon takes a while, so I might uh, leave it for leave it for the next session. I think I'm just going to return to the Merchant District, talk to Captain Belena, and then kill the Githyanki. Alright, Merchant District, quick. Loading that URL nwn2.com, and I think that's still active. This is a very old game, after all. It was last updated in 2009. Goodness, that was 12 years ago. Okay, let's go in and speak to her. We have heard of your success at the Sea Ghost. You are to be commended. Taking care of that ship did not get rid of all the Luskins, but it hurt them. And that's good enough for me. I hope that none of the Luskins escaped your notice. They tend to hold grudges. Here you are, the reward for your efforts. It was a dangerous mission, and you did well. Lieutenant, I have just received word from the Nine. They believe assassins are in Neverwinter and have asked for our help in dealing with them. There was some hesitation in them asking for our assistance. The incidents in the docks have caused questions. I am not sure they trust my, our, ability. Yet we have the location, and I'm giving you your orders. Proceed to the merchant quarter and deal with the situation. If they pose a threat to Neverwinter, I want their presence here removed. Go now, prepare yourself, and report back here when you've dispatched this threat to Neverwinter. All right, so... The only thing worse than Luskans, the Nine located the hideout of mysterious killers that have brought trouble to the city. Though she's been ordered to support the Nine in their assault, Belena instead has ordered you to deal with them before the Nine can mount their own operation. The assassins are currently holed up in the merchant quarter, near the warehouse you, read it, you raided recently. Yes. Oh, it's Lord. Again. Lorne, I've been waiting for your report. Oh, but Master, look, Lorne's face is sad. Has he had a setback? My lord, there has been trouble at the docks. Trouble? Oh, Lorne, please. Silence, Torio. Let Lorne speak. Of course, Garius. I meant no disrespect. The City Watch has become organized. They're taking command of the docks and they jeopardize our position there. Several of our agents have been killed, others driven off. Curious. This is a rather sudden turn of events, Lorne. I can fix it, my lord. I swear to you. I did not gain my title of Master of the Fifth Tower by drowning Luskin in blood, and I do not wish you to do the same to the docks. It is an unfortunate setback, but one I think we can still repair, provided we use the right tool. Oh, he's sending a blade golem at us, which we can eventually repair. Okay, so let's go here. This is the last part of the City Watch quest, I believe. Although there is a weird thing, though. Um, if you go back after the trial to Captain Belena, after, I guess, we get Crossroad Keep, she has one last quest for the 
captain for the lieutenant. Like, night captain now, but she still refers to him as lieutenant. It makes no sense. It has no... It really doesn't make no sense. It makes no sense at that point in the game. But it's a source of free gold and XP. I suspect it was part of a larger uh, quest line that they weren't able to properly uh, fix. You know, after all of the content was removed, then was removed during development. It's strange, but I'll explain it uh, when we get to it. Okay, time for buffs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's uh, eight, nine. And 11, and then let's Everyone start with uh, Eleni. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, those should be all the buffs we need. Oh, did we did I accidentally cancel his Q? Interesting. I must have. He doesn't have mage armor on him. Okay. We have three more castings left. Yes. One more Nishka, and it's showtime. So, like other areas in the game, this has very janky uh, spawns. The monsters spawn after you uh, open, I guess you cross over certain thresholds. I guess that's a uh, firebrand. And they're down. Oh, they dispelled heroism and shield on me. Oh! Got knocked down. Mishka, go kill this guy. Let me actually uh, firebrand again. And they're dead. Oh, here's one. I'm gonna magic missile you. And dead. Ooh, peace. Anyone here? Oh, there's people here. Guess we can fireball them. Nice. Oop, I took some damage. Damn it, I'm trapped. There, we got him. Pretty close to level 11 now. Oh hey, uh, more enemies. Let's uh, fireball them. Got them all. It's uh, there. Nice. Time for a little fun. Scroll. Oh, what's this? Old piece. See if we can trigger more spawns. It's not. I 
let's just take this guy out with a maximized magic missile. Got him. Should probably have Elamine heal everyone. Faster than resting and recasting all of our buffs. Oh, enemies! Let's try a fireball behind the party. I mean, behind their team. There we go. Took, took a huge chunk of HP. Alright, go. Oh, we killed everyone. Wow. Nice. Yes. I think we might actually level up after this fight. Let's see. Let's open this door, trigger more spawns. Yep. I saw the uh the frame rate drop there. Old position. There. Show them your Just around. I'm actually gonna haste haste them. Extended haste. There we go. There, go kill everyone. Oh, more enemies! Wow, just randomly spawned. Oh wow, you just died. Uh, is I'm just gonna magic missile you? And he's dead. I might actually have to rest here before the final fight. Because Nishka went down. Can I trust while enemies are nearby? Ah, that's inconvenient. Just heal Nishka. Yes. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, wow. Is that there? Okay, let's keep going. Oh, there's the blade golem attacking the Gifyanki. Time for a little fun. I'm just gonna magic whistle this thing to death. Oh, there we go. We drove it away. Just to make sure my eyes aren't lying to me, a huge suit of armor did smash through here, attacked the Githyanki and us, and then we drove it back through that portal. No, no, that's about right. Good. Because my drinking is catching up with me, I'm stopping right now. That was a man-made creature, a golem, it was sent, and it was sent against us both. It is good it was driven back through that portal if it hadn't. I don't care what that thing was, I'm just glad it's gone. I think we're all done here, unless you want to poke around more. We should probably report back. Let's loot this last uh, chest here. Nishka, it's... 
your duty. Oops. Well, let's uh, recover trap. Yes, we can. Ow! <laughs> wow, it almost killed Eleni. Alright, there we go. A wand of sleep, that's kind of disappointing. Yes. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for this area. I hope there are no more Githyanki spawns that happen behind us. I guess we will uh, be leveling up after we turn in this quest. Yep, here it is. Here's the door. And we're out. And I think uh, this should fully heal us because we're transitioning into a different area, I think. No, I was wrong. It's actually the same area. It's not a different module. Uh, it's not a, I mean, it's a different area, but in the same module. Apparently the warehouse, that one over there, is a different module. Which is why it uh, fully resets our health and HP. That's just how the game was programmed, which is kind of weird. I'm curious, I never actually checked what she gave us for taking out the Luskas at the docks. I, don't remember. I guess it was just some gold or some items. I, I don't recognize anything here out of the ordinary. I assume it was just gold and XP. We are 500, 513 XP away from leveling up. I hope she gives us at least, you know, 513. Oh, Nimas. Neverwinter's royal guards are charged with protecting Castle Never and Lord Nasher himself. They are some of Neverwinter's most elite soldiers. Greycloaks are members of Neverwinter's standing army. The recent plague and war with Luskin have drained Neverwinter of wealth, leaving the Greycloaks poorly funded and equipped. The name Greycloaks comes from their lack of uniforms. There simply isn't enough money to put all of them in armor or even dye in cloth, so they wear simple cloaks for their unofficial uniforms. Most Grey Cloaks are citizen soldiers with little professional experience, though several veterans of the recent war with Luskan fill the ranks with much needed expertise. I assume you have the same description. Cool. She doesn't have anything to say to us. The stick Lieutenant, you have done well. Quick These men are from the Nine, under the service of Captain Naval. You know our orders were that you give us the location of the assassins, Captain Berlena and let us deal with them. And now with the death of Lord Hawks, I think the Watch's attention could have been better spent elsewhere. I believe the Nine and the Cloak Tower are the ones responsible for the Watch in Black Lake. This matter was something my lieutenant could handle on his own, and has. I hope you're not blaming us for Lord Hawks' death. As I recall, the order given to the Watch were to man the gates of Black Lake and solely act as couriers for the Nine and the Cloak Tower mages. We are, as always, ready and able to serve Neverwinter in any capacity requested. If you wish us to take a greater role in the Black Lake investigation, then we would be happy to assist. I doubt any order I give you would be followed to the letter, Captain, but I appreciate your gesture nonetheless. Yeah, whoever is playing uh, this uh, lady is not a professional voice actor. Yes. Good day, Captain. Lieutenant. As you no doubt heard, Lieutenant, while you were on your mission, there was another death in Black Lake, Lord Hawks. What happened? Lord Hawks died in the same manner as Lord Gentry. There was no forced entry and no wounds upon the body. He was struck dead. His body found this morning. Can I help? You have done all I asked at the docks, and now I am giving you official permission to enter the Black Lake District. But do not interfere with the investigation there. I fear I have pushed the Nine as far as they will go in this matter. As for the docks, I suspect they will always give us trouble, but with your help we have made great strides in restoring order to the area. And trade should improve as a result. Lord Nasher will be pleased. And I shall make sure to mention your name to him. Thank you for your efforts, Lieutenant. And fortune be with you on your travels in the Black Lake District. All right, so we have basically completed the uh, City Watch quest line, and all that's left is to go to the Black Lake and talk to Aldenon, and then go to the archive 
and then discover that we have to rescue Chandra Jero from her farm. So we rescue her from her farm, bring her back to the sunken flag, and then she gets kidnapped and we rescue her again. At which point, uh, she gets permanently recruited into our party. Very simple. Alright, so let me save the game. And as always, my name convention is Dale Kenner OC, and this is the 8th session, so we'll put it in number 8. And now I will be raiding someone. I don't know which gamer I will be raiding. Uh, let's go check up on Twitch to see uh, which people are streaming. I want to raid someone with a similar number of viewers as me. It's basically just basic Twitch, uh, Twitch etiquette, I suppose. Hmm, I could... Yeah, let's raid this one. It's in response EDH. They're a bunch of Magic the Gathering players, and uh, they are playing Commander in Magic the Gathering, I believe through Spell Table. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. Yep, there's four of them. Oh, this is this is in spell table. They're actually playing live with each other. They're actually in the same location. So anyway, uh, let me click on the raid button. And we'll be raiding them in a moment. So my next session probably will be on Sunday because I have to do some chores tomorrow morning. And then uh, I will be leaving work at 9, at which point I will be joining my D&D &D group late. And then on Sunday, I think I work early, but I will have time to stream a short time in the morning. Anyway, here is in response EDH, and we'll be raiding them now. Click.